Hi guys, this is Quick from Squeak.com and uh, with this tutorial we're going to show you how to uh, install a Windows 6P operating system uh, on Oracle VM VirtualBox Manager. This tutorial is going to be very similar to what we've already seen some months ago with the Windows 98 tutorial with the difference that uh, uh, XP uh, has uh, already guest addition for, uh, in Oracle v VirtualBox and this will uh, ease a lot the work uh, of configuration of the uh, guest operating system. Uh, in particular uh, uh, it's going to be very very easy to set up the display setting uh, and uh, to configure a shared folder that in our case will be very uh, helpful in order to uh, move uh, archives uh, and in our case games from one uh, um, from the host operating system to the guest operating system so in our case to Windows XP so first thing that we need to do is uh, to simply create a new uh, op um, virtual machine so we name it WinXP we select the type and the version by default it's already set we define the memory size, uh, 192 should be fine, but since we are going to run some game, we uh, are putting 256. Uh, just to remind that this is a, a, a configuration that then you can change, so you can dynamically allocate more RAM if you will uh, uh, feel like you need it. Uh, our drive, uh, it's important your drive not to be um, too short since uh, um, the hard drive will be difficult then to allocate dynamically so we keep in this case 10 gig that for uh, our games should be fine uh, we leave default VDI for as a hard drive file type and uh, we say the system to dynamically allocate the uh, um, hard disk just to avoid waste of space so this is the resume, it's created. Okay, so once it's created, it will be a matter of uh, setting the proper configuration. In particular, the first thing that we want to do is to attach uh, an ISO to the CD-ROM. Uh, it can be the uh, live CD that you may have directly inserted in your drive or as in my case it's going to be a new drive and an ISO that I already created so it's very important before you start any operation uh, of um, operating system uh, uh, creation you, you will need at least an ISO or a valid uh, CD-ROM so we go OK just we can check uh, other information that uh, as I said we will be able then to uh, enable uh, in a later stage particular display it will be important if you run uh, games with, that needs 3D acceleration it's important here to remark that Windows XP uh, allow us uh, to use 3D acceleration although of course it's virtualized uh, but um, on the, the difference between this and uh, Windows 98 uh, it's exactly this one so there will be many games that will run in XP and not run in 98 uh, so it's possible that we will feel more comfortable running just XP for all of your games uh, the other information could be left as they are uh, we will define shared folder in a later stage after the installation is done uh, also the network, uh, by enabling network uh, NAT adapter you will be able to navigate and to browse internet directly from the XP then this could be also a good option in order to download directly games from squinkme.com okay so that's done the important thing is to attach the disk we got it and we start the machine okay the setup we just wait the CD-ROM to be read this is the boot 
and uh, uh, of course the system will uh, uh, find directly the partition that uh, we have already reserved before that is 10 gig so we press enter to install uh, we need to format here uh, and uh, we better use the format the partition using NTF file system and quick is not really needed because the system will should be quick enough so here we, we will have to wait uh, a while during the formatting of the disk but you see it's uh, quite uh, fast to format the, the disk okay so it's done there will be a check and uh, this is uh, actually installing the files from the uh, DVD or the CD or the ISO in, in our case to the uh, hard disk, virtual hard disk in this case Okay, the copy is done, so automatically the VirtualBox will restart. So we don't need to boot from CD because we've already done. So now we're booting directly from the uh, hard disk. Okay, this is uh, something you, you can already notice differently from uh, other uh, the Windows 98, for instance, is that when you move outside the um, box of the operating the guest operating system the automatically the focus of the mouse is uh, is lost so it's go back to the uh, host operating system this is interesting and it's good because you you don't need every time to uh, make the control uh, uh, button press to to change focus and in general you, you will see there are many uh, facility many let's say uh, helper <laughs> method than uh, in the Windows 6, uh, 98 you had to do uh, manually in particular uh, display so okay you we can set uh, all the information that we need for regional and language I will leave default squeak from squeaknet Tom. Okay, squeaknet XP. Uh, we can put a password. Okay, I leave this as default. Let's leave it at the fall, that's not a problem at this moment. And although here the system will say that it will take 32 minutes, actually it's not going to take uh, so much. Uh, this is po possibly um, defined for a real system in the old time when there, there was no virtualization. So our group... Okay, we don't need this the moment just create a, a work group for uh, for this but you can uh, attach to one of the domain that you may have uh, it's not needed because uh, differently from what we've done in Windows 98 where we um, created shared folder through uh, internet here we will uh, use shared folder uh, uh, feature that is provided by uh, Oracle VM guest addition so this is still uh, going to take a while registering components uh, 
Uh, actually, what I suggest you is uh, if you manage to find a uh, uh, ISO version or any version that has already the Service Pack 3 uh, updated because uh, uh, in particular if you're going to browse in internet and you are not up to date uh, you know you you can uh, always have uh, protection uh, problems um, from internet uh, war, uh, worms or uh, uh, internet viruses and so on so if you have to take one fresh better use uh, um, uh, sp3 service pack 3 Okay, so the procedure finalized. We don't need to boot from CD. Uh, it's important if you don't want to every time you to be bothered, is to uh, once you have installed uh, the uh, operating system, is to change the order uh, from boot. That in this case, it's uh, uh, of course the uh, CD ROM. Okay, let's tell that it's okay, yes, it's good enough. You see, that's already you get a big screen, things that if you've run Windows 98 uh, tutorial, it was not the case. Okay, I think here we can go very quick, we don't want to spend a few minutes. Yes, yes, right. Uh, no, we don't. Well, we could turn them on, but we better don't for the moment. Otherwise, uh, the, now at my first reboot, it's going to install possibly a lot of things. You better uh, protect by turning automatic update if you can. Okay, Windows, uh, Internet. Well, we skipped. We don't need it. Are you there, Jazz? No. It's optional, so we don't do it. Go ahead. Our name is Squeak, and we you can define user, but of course you can administer this and make them later. Actually, this is start, you can see it, and before you may um, use for, uh, for any games, we will need uh, to uh, configure something like shared folder and uh, 3D the display, uh, display setting. So now what we are going to do is to install, to attach the guest edition. To make so, we need okay. Install guest edition. It's in the device uh, option here. This is a feature that is already provided by the virtual box, so you don't have to do anything at all. Uh, automatically, you get the destination folder. You can leave the default one. Um, it's important at this point. They're not right here. Okay, so before doing this, actually, uh, you'll need, as uh, it's suggested here, to uh, turn the system off and run in safe mode. Okay, so what we're going to do is simply. Okay, we don't want to set up now. We go in safe mode by. Uh, restarting the operating system I think here it's F2 or F8 no it's F8 when the system restart before the boot in order to uh, hear this so just press F8 uh, repeatedly and you got uh, safe mode uh, in our case it's just safe mode well what's not working let's keep it like this we can enter a squeak. Okay. All the warning you need. And while this is loading, we go here. We we better wait. The system now it's already loaded. Okay, we go here 
and we do install guest edition same as before uh, in this case it's just to enable 3d support if you don't need that but I suggest although it's experimental uh, but for the kind of games that used to run through XP uh, it's um, uh, it's almost uh, uh, in, in it's important let's say so we do install we wait a while while this is installing driver and so on and okay we can reboot no problem uh, what is important is that uh, from now on you will have a sort of uh, um, virtual directory I think it's named guest addition, something like that. We're going to check, uh, and uh, you shouldn't remove it because otherwise we are going to lose uh, all uh, all the uh, feature provided by the guest addition. Let's see. I'm not wrong. Yeah, it's VirtualBox guest addition, so it's uh, uh, another uh, virtual drive. It's uh, registered as a device with removable storage. So don't don't remove this. Um, actually with this what we can do is to enlarge the setting to our needs okay in our case the iced it's uh, it's this so we can get 800 per, per 600 it's definitely better in particular for a gaming experience um, ah, something that you want to try it's the uh, uh, the X dialog dialog that it's uh, uh, going to check about the direct X no information okay yeah and uh, from uh, from this you can check which is the installed version you can install new one and you can see the uh, other features like the uh, direct draw acceleration, direct 3D. This should be enabled somehow. So you, you can play with this information through the di DirectX diagnostic tool. And this could be very interesting in particular when uh, uh, actually, uh, let me check which is the version installed by default think it's the uh, version 5 yeah actually yeah 5 or 6 I think no it's a uh, version 4 I think that if you want and if you need direct 3d acceleration you will have to install uh, direct text uh, 6 or 7 or uh, something like that so if you need you uh, install the latest direct sticks compatible for windows xp and you should you should get the possibility to enable uh, direct uh, uh, 3d acceleration that could be useful in uh, uh, if in some in some case for some games so now what we're going to do is to create a shared folder in order to be able to move a file from host to guest and uh, vice versa and uh, in order to do so it's we better uh, uh, turn the system off well we restart no we turn it off because we have to set it from uh, the uh, VirtualBox manager so uh, another interesting thing that here XP will allow us to turn off the computer in uh, the usual, usual way and not through the uh, close button here so we can close everything is going to be uh, stored correctly and uh, we, we won't need every time every uh, time the, there is a restart to uh, check disk and uh, other uh, feature done by uh, Windows 98 so we go in setting there is a shared folder uh, here uh, I created one can remove just to show you how to create it from scratch we go here and actually I have all my games under games in the 
and uh, what we can uh, do is if we don't want the host to be able to write of course we set up as read only in our case it's not important and uh, it's important to auto mount so every time the, there is a uh, startup of the system the uh, folder will be uh, mounted actually I think this will be seen from uh, uh, guest operating system XP as uh, a network folder I'm not sure let's let's check it together so I mount and okay close and I just start the operating system Okay, so this is actually was not needed. You can delete it. And we go in my computer. Let's see. And of course, we see this as a network uh, drive. So we can enter here and we can see all the games and that I've actually uh, downloaded. For instance, let's check the Shinnan or yes I'm 98 we can even run I guess from the network I'm not sure it's the best thing to do yeah it's okay so here it is Okay, I want to exit. Yeah. Or let's see. Okay, basically, this is. Let's play Doom. You can see. Actually, Doom, for instance, it's something that uh, I didn't manage to run through Windows 98. So you can see that actually, uh, for you gamers, XP. It's something uh, uh, <laughs> needed if you really want to run all uh, uh, all type of games. There it is. Let's see. Considering that this is running from a um, um, virtual drive, it's very good. So we don't need really to make uh, any installation sometime. So it's okay. Okay. It. and uh, I turn this off because now it's uh, up to you to install uh, your XP and uh, enjoy the experience that we hope uh, we'll, with our, the game that we provide we hope uh, you really uh, don't forget them because they are the greatest of ever so anything you may need as usual you can uh, write us in uh, uh, our uh, social uh, networks, uh, Facebook, YouTube or Twitter uh, and there we are to help you uh, for the, this installation or in general for uh, enjoying the old memories uh, as usual. So bye bye, have a good time. <laughs>